Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I know I've been kind of MIA the last week. Um, Monday morning I woke up and my eyelids were so, so, so dry. They were flaky, they were bright red, they hurt, and they're just now starting to clear up. So I thought I could finally get in front of the camera and film a video. Most people like to focus on the eyes of the video. Well, I know I do. So I didn't want to be like all up in here with like peeling skin. I know it sounds gross. I'm sorry. But um, so yeah, that's why I haven't been doing any videos. I haven't been uploading any videos. It really sucked. I love sitting in front of the camera and showing you guys what I love to do. So I do apologize for that. But... So, yeah, here is the video, or the video, here is the look I did today. I think it's very springtime, summer appropriate. Um, it's just very glowy, um, very light, neutral eye, pink lip. Um, yeah, so here's the eyes. Very easy, very simple. I don't know what else to say. So if you want to see how I got this, please keep watching. To get started, I'm going to be using my Hard Candy Sure Envy Primer. This one's shine free. Let's put a little bit in my hand. I'm going to press this all over the face. Next, I'm going to be going in with my L'Oreal True Match. This is in the color N5. It's True Beige. I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. powder brush. Just put some on the brush and then blend it in all over. Make sure you bring it down the neck. And then I'm going to move on to the eyes and I'm going to use this Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. It looks like this. I got it with my Lorac Pro Palette. And then going in with my Lorac Pro Palette, I'm going to be going in with the color Taupe. It's this one right here. I'm just going to be using a Eco Tools. This says it's a highlight one. I'm going to use it as um, a blending crease brush. And I'm just going to very, very lightly put that into the crease.
And then I'm going to be going in with the color Champagne. This one right here. And I'm just going to be using a flat, stiff brush. And I'm just going to pack that all over the lid. And then going back in with that first brush we used, I'm just going to blend that together. And then using my e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush, I'm going to go in with the color Pewter just a tiny tiny bit and I'm just going to run that on the outer V and up into the crease just to give the eye a little bit more dimension Going back in with the first brush and just blending that all together. There's no product on this brush, just blending. And then because we lost a little bit of the color, I'm going to just add a little bit more of that champagne color and then blend it a little bit more and then you can skip this step if you want but I personally just prefer eyeliner on the top for myself, so I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Master Graphic eyeliner in black. And I'm just going to make a thin line and a baby wing. And I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And then I'm going to just put a little... Then I'm just going to put a light coat of mascara. This is the Ulta Amped Up Lashes. Or Amped Lashes volume and defining mascara And while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and put on my brows. I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera because I do have a brow routine already on my channel and brows take a while. So I will be back.
Next, I'm going to use my Red Cherry Lashes. I think these are in the style 43. They look like this. Just really wispy, not too long, not too short. Still somewhat natural looking. Somewhat natural looking. Um, you can skip this step if you would like. I just prefer eyelashes on myself. And I'm just going to be going in with my Duo Eyelash Adhesive in Dark Tone. And then moving on to the rest of the face, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Sand. And I'm just going to put that all right here in a triangle shape. Cupid's bow, chin, a little bit on the forehead. I'm just going to be using an e.l.f. stipple brush to be blending this in. And then using the same brush, I'm going to go in with my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And I'm going to be going in with the banana shade and this lighter cream shade. I'm just going to mix those together and place that underneath right here where we just did the concealer. And then I'm just going to go blend everything out. And then I'm not going to go for a harsh contour or anything today. So I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Golden Bronzer. Looks like this. It's very pretty. It is shimmery. So if you don't like shimmer, I would not recommend this product. But since I am going for like a springtime, everyday, glowy look, I personally love this stuff. So I'm just going to place this where we would normally do a contour, but I'm bringing it higher up on the cheekbones. Just to give your face that like sun-kissed look. I'm sorry if you guys can see like little specks of like green glitter, but I did some crazy like green glitter for the St. Patrick's Day parade here in Denver. My dad pulls a float, so I like to go all out. And like I stated in the um, intro, I was going to film a video on the glitter look I did, but... I had that crazy thing going on with my eyes and I just, I wasn't going to get on camera looking like that. And then next going in with my e.l.f. Baked Blush in the color Pinktastic. I'm going to go in and use the highlighting brush from Eco Tools. I'm just going to get a little bit of that and place it right on my cheekbones up right here, right here. I don't know if you guys can really see that.
I don't like this brush for that. When all else fails, use your finger. And then going in with my e.l.f. blush palette in the light light one, it I'm gonna use this like peachy. I'm gonna use this peachy shade right here. It has little gold flecks in it, so it will still give us that little shimmery glowing effect that I'm going for. And I'm just going to place it on the apples of the cheeks and drag it up. And then to highlight the brow bone, I'm going to go in with the color Nude from the Lorac palette. The Lorac, bleh, bleh, bleh the Lorac Pro palette and I'm just going to place this on the brow bone. I'm also going to get a little bit of that and place it on the inner corner. Tear duct area. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with that taupe color, and I'm just going to pack this underneath the eye, or the lower lash line. Sorry, my camera cut off. I'm just going to blend that out with the light pink color from the palette. And now you can use any color on the lower lash line that you want. A nude, a black, a brown, purple, whatever you want to do. Just do what you like. Um, I like the Scandalize Waterproof Coal Eyeliner from Rimmel in the color Nude for the lower lash line. So I'm just going to line the waterline. I like this more than um, a white because it's not as like dramatic. And then for the lower lashes, I'm going to be going in with my L'Oreal Telescopic and carbon black like always And then for lips, I'm just going to be using a nude lip liner. This is actually the nude. This is actually the nude eyeliner I just used. I cannot find my lip liner. I just used that for the sake of the video. And then I'm going to go in with this NYC Expert Last lip color in the color Creamy Mauve. Looks like this. And you can use any lip shade you want for this look. If you want to go more dramatic, you can do a purple or an orange. You can do any color lipstick with this look because the eyes are pretty neutral. Um, so yeah, you can do nude, whatever. So this is 
no it's not this is not the finish look because i need to set my face i'm going to use the nyx dewy finish long lasting setting spray um i actually really really like this stuff so i'm just gonna spray it over my face i can't talk while i do it otherwise i will get spray in my mouth so So here is the finished look. Um, it was very, very easy to do. It's pretty quick. Um, you can add steps. You can take steps away. You can do whatever you're the most comfortable with. So yeah, please leave me any suggestions on other videos you would like to see in the comment box down below. Make sure you hit that red button down below and subscribe. Like the video. Share the video. Um, in case you didn't know, if you do subscribe to my channel, it will up, uh, send you a notification on when I upload new videos. And yeah, so I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And until next time, have a good day.